Having a blood test. We use blood tests to help diagnose your illness and monitor your treatment. We understand that some people find them unpleasant and we try to treat you with care and consideration. How to find us? The phlebotomy department or blood room is on the first floor between outpatient clinic 1 and clinic 4. Follow the black line in the floor leading from the main lifts or the signposts from other points on the first floor. When we are open. We are open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., but closed on weekends and bank holidays. What to do when you arrive? You should take a ticket from the dispenser and then present your blood forms to the person at the reception desk. Then wait for your number to come up on the electronic display. If there is no one at the desk, please take a seat and wait to be called. Please tell us if you have had any problems with blood tests, such as feeling faint, or if you take medication that thins your blood, such as warfarin or aspirin. While waiting. We try to see everyone as quickly as possible, but delays can occur. We will inform you about the likely waiting time when you report in. If there is a long waiting time, you may want to visit other departments, such as x-ray or pharmacy. Alternatively, there is a coffee shop and news agent on the ground floor. But please note that you must not eat or drink if you have been asked to fast for your test. The blood room is usually at its busiest between 9am and 1pm. Patients requiring a routine test, as opposed to the special tests we'll mention later, should avoid this period if possible. Please remember, we can only perform a blood test if you bring your request forms. Please check the forms to ensure that your details are correct. And also please remember that if you miss your turn, you will need to take another ticket and wait for your turn again. Having blood taken. When you enter the blood room, a member of staff will check your forms. One blood test request may require several different small bottles of blood, but these can be taken from a single skin puncture. After the blood has been taken, we cover the puncture with a dressing. Apply pressure to this for at least three minutes to reduce the risk of bruising, and keep the dressing on for one hour. Avoid heavy lifting with that arm for several hours. A small bruise may occur after your test due to blood leaking from the punctured vein and collecting under the skin. This is normal and will go down after a few days in the way any other bruise does. Special Circumstances Babies and Young Children Please go to Clinic 5 where they have the facilities for taking blood from children under 12. Fasting Blood Tests if your doctor asks you to fast before your blood test, please do not eat or drink anything except water on the day of the test. Glucose tolerance tests. Please ensure that you have fasted for at least 12 hours before this test. This means you must not eat or drink anything after 8 p.m. in the evening for an 8 a.m. test. Please arrive at the blood room before 9.30 a.m. as this test takes two hours to perform. We will take a blood sample when you arrive and then ask you to drink a glucose drink, such as Lucozaid. After the drink, you need to wait for two hours when we will take a second blood test. During this time, you must not eat or drink or take any vigorous exercise. After the two-hour wait, come straight into the blood room. Results most blood test results will be sent to the requesting doctor in 7 to 10 days. Your doctor can obtain urgent results from the laboratory. Results are not returned to the blood room, thus must be obtained from your doctor. The phlebotomist is trained to take your blood, but not to discuss your blood tests or medical condition. Comments or suggestions Any member of staff can contact the phlebotomy and cannulation service manager you can also write or ring directly to the Phlebotomy and Cannulation Services Manager, Royal Free Hampstead NHS Trust, Pond Street, London NW3 2QG. Telephone number is 020 7794 0500, which is the main switchboard, and then ask for the Phlebotomy and Cannulation Services Manager.
This audio information was recorded in January 2009.